Uh, before we take a break, let's tell you that as part of efforts to improve its role in Africa's oil and gas sector, the Group Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC, Mr. Melekiari, says the corporation is building a higher power truck line that will supply gas within its network and strengthen its infrastructure development. Group Chief Executive spoke during leadership dialogue session at the Sarah Week Conference in Houston, U.S., tagged multidimensional energy transition, markets, climate technology, and geopolitics. So we see clear opportunity that gas prices today. That wasn't there, you know, maybe 10 years ago. Right. So we're building the pipelines and the networks now? Yeah, absolutely. Today we, we're building a number of trunk lines uh, that will supply gas within our network. And, of course, it's very understandable. It's an MPC that is driving at the forward uh, uh, in this situation, but clearly understandable. And building infrastructure means that it will Austrian people can actually now produce the gas that put into our, into our network. And, uh, this synergy is working, and, and perhaps in the next three or four years, and I'm sure that they, they will be clearly mature uh, in, in country uh, gas infrastructure. So, so it's a process. It's a process. It's now. What we see is uh, we probably need uh, 10 to 15 million dollars uh, within two, three years. Uh, that should cover the immediate uh, gap. And of course, scaling up means uh, looking beyond providing gas in the domestic market, which is to see how. Uh, our, our relationships, our partnership can create gas for export. And of course, when you look at that, you know, probably for another incremental 10 to 12 billion dollars in the short term and, and creating the opportunity for growth in you know, subsequent. And there's an ongoing engagement and uh, in a very advanced stage at a uh, feed level to create a pipeline that will pass through uh, 13 African countries into Morocco, then uh, jump into uh, into, into Europe. What that will do will create integration among the African countries, a number of countries that would have, do have gas uh, resources, so that that collaboration will enable them to have access to those pipelines. And our estimate is to see a $25 billion project, a uh, clear line of sight around finance for that project. $25 billion. $21 billion for that line. And then, and then the alternate route is to pass through the center of our country all the way to the Sahara, into Algeria, then into Europe. You know. And the reason is very clear, but it's practical. We do not have uh, issues around availability of the gas resources, so it's, it's there. And of course, we also understand that uh, maybe a little slow, but surely much cheaper process of transporting gas across. Uh, An NPC boss said the group is partnering with other African countries to create more opportunities for wealth and growth in the oil and gas sector across the continent. What we see is uh, we probably need uh, 10 to 15 million dollars uh, within two, three years. Uh, that should cover the immediate uh, gap. And of course, scaling up means uh, looking beyond providing gas in the domestic market, which is to see how. Uh, our, our relationships, our partnership can create gas for export. And of course, when you look at that, you know, probably for another incremental 10 to 12 billion dollars in the short term and, and creating the opportunity for growth in you know, subsequent. And there's an ongoing engagement and uh, in a very advanced stage at a feed level to create a pipeline that will pass through uh, 13 African countries into Morocco, then uh, jump into. Uh, into, into Europe. What that will do will create integration among the African countries, a number of countries that would have, do have gas uh, resources, so that that collaboration will enable them to have access to those pipelines. And our estimate is to see a $25 billion project, a clear line of sight around finance for that project. $25 billion. $21 billion for that line. And then, and then the alternate route is to pass through the center of our country all the way through the Sahara into Algeria, then into Europe. You know. And the reason is very clear, but it's practical. We do not have uh, issues around availability of the gas resources, so it's, it's there. And of course, we also understand that uh, maybe a little slow, but surely much cheaper process of transporting gas across. Uh, right. GCEO and NPC, they're live. Uh, Speaking live there 